Time for new lights on the prison bus. Okay, so you saw me pulling this clear material out of the massive hoard behind my garage. It's thick polycarbonate, so pretty much one form of what people call bulletproof glass. And it was originally attached to the cages inside the prison bus. The converted version of the bus is going to have bulletproof lights as a way of remembering and maybe even honoring the old days on the bus. The first time around making one of these box lights, it didn't go perfectly right. Everything seemed okay and the pieces were fitting together until I drilled these recessed holes for the fasteners. I ended up taking out too much material. So the fasteners were actually just too big. But I finished mocking up the light anyway as a sort of proof of concept and to see what it would look like all lit up. I could do better, I decided, and started cutting more polycarbonate. And this time, I'd be building a batch of three lights at once. After getting the boxes pretty much assembled, I wanted to use aluminum for the backing on each sconce. And fortunately, I had quite a bit aluminum stashed away in that hoard. And have you ever noticed that cutting aluminum with an abrasive wheel makes no sparks? I have no idea why this is.
With the cold nipping at our toes, Tink and I move the rest of the project inside. As I'm assembling these lights, I want to give you all a few updates. One is that Melissa and I are dangerously close to laying hands on a new property on the edge of town that has a lot more room for things like prison buses. More on the move as it develops. Another update is that I made a prison bus conversion mini comic. I posted a picture of the comic to Instagram and Patreon and every copy I made went out in the mail the next day. If you want a comic, Message me on social media and I'll send out a second run of mini comics to the first 50 people I hear from. And while we were inside, Tink encountered her first bucket. I think it's safe to say that Tink finally came to terms with the bucket. Another update is that my channel hit 10,000 subscribers this week. I'm absolutely amazed by the interest and want to thank everyone who has subscribed. A bunch of people have been watching these bus conversion videos since the beginning, like Fordham Garage who has his own awesome channel, It's That Gamer YT, Michael Horsford, Seba Busman, Michael Lehrenbauer, and others. Y'all make YouTubing really fun, and I want to thank you. With the lights done, I put one up in the bus. I still have to run the wire through a grommeted hole and then fashion some coved boxes to make the other lights work, but I'm liking the general look of this light. Big thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. You can follow me on Instagram where I post preview pics of what's going on and Patreon where I keep a running blog about my projects. I guess I need to start working on my next prison bus conversion comic.